Hey, what's going on? It's Stranger, and welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. And today's video is sponsored by Loop Cloud, and they've partnered up with Shogun Audio and their counterpart, EST Studios. Now, Shogun Audio is one of the top drum and bass labels out there with artists such as Galaxy, Pola and Bryson, Joe Ford, Monroe, Document One, Technomatic, and many more. And EST Studios is their company for providing sample packs and creative tools for producers. Now, they pride themselves on not just being another sample provider, but to curate some of the best content out there from the industry leaders that reflect their own musical history and drum and bass. So they have three new sample packs out on Loop Cloud. One is by Galaxy, who does some deep liquid and minimal drum and bass sounds. And then there's Document One, who fuses jazz with dance floor drum and bass. And then there's Taiki New Light, who does UK garage and bass line. He has some awesome bass sounds. But comment down below and let me know who is your favorite Shogun Audio artist. So I'm gonna show you guys around in Loop Cloud and how you can access these samples. And then we're gonna be creating a track with these sounds. And if you're enjoying my content and you want more like it, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so I have Loop Cloud open and to find it, EST sounds, just type EST Studios. And then you can find the three sample packs here. So let's go through the Galaxy one, just double click on it. Now you can filter the sounds. Let's go through the one shots first. So click on one shots and then we're gonna look for the drums. So Galaxy has provided some really high quality and tight kick and snare hi-hat samples here. So these are great starting points to build your rhythm. And I also have some really good percussive loops. So let's go into the loops section and click tops and then we can find the percussive tops which is like the tambourine or the shaker loops. And using these loops is a great way to add a little more groove between your kicks and snares. So this is a great creative tool. And also they have some really amazing pad sounds, which is signature for a galaxy. they have some gnarly bass sounds as well. So some really nasty sounding bass sounds if you're into that minimal neural kind of sound. All right, so now let's go through the document one sounds now. They're really good with fusing live instrumentation with their drum and bass. So there's some really interesting sounds here. Let's go through their one shots again first. So they have some amazing one shot samples here as well. So some really pristine sounding hi-hats and snares. And one of the things that shines with Document One is their musicality. So let's check out some of their piano sounds.
so that would be a good loop to make some liquid drum and bass. And he also has some really amazing bass sounds as well. Now I also mentioned that there's also MIDI clips within these packs and those are some useful tools to use within your tracks. I'm gonna show you more on the MIDI clips later. Now here's Taiki New Lights pack and he's got some really awesome bass one hit sounds. <laughs> He also has some really good drum loops as well. So if you're into that baseline or UK garage sound, then this is a good pack to help you create that sound. Oh, by the way, I got some new music out. I got a new EP out on Worst Behavior Recordings. It's called Monk Fruit EP, and it features four tracks and two remixes. It's a mixed genre EP with some jungle and drum and bass bits, as well as some halftime and trap sounds. I got a track featuring the vocals from UK artist Fox, I've been wanting to work with him for a while now, so I'm excited for you guys to hear this track. And then there's a feature with TT, the artist, who's a rapper down in the States, and she's done some big tunes, so I'm excited for you guys to check that track out as well. And also, we got some new music on my label, Deviant Audio. Tear Kahoot has an amazing new single out. It's got XLD, and it's an awesome dance floor track, and I think you guys will like it. So you can check it all out in the link below. All right, so let's start a track using the samples. So here's a kick pattern using the Galaxy Fusion kick. And here's the snare using Document One's Snare 05. And then I have a simple hi-hat pattern using some of Galaxy's tight hi-hats. And this ride cymbal on the third beat here. Alright, so once you have a basic kick and snare pattern, then you can use some of the top percussion loops to add a little more funk and shuffle to your drums. So here's one from Document One Pack. And then we can find more to layer on top, so we can click on Track 2, look for another. And I like this one as well, the tiny fast top. The loop cloud can sync the two samples together so you can see how it sounds in context. And if you like it, then you can pull it into Ableton. Now there's just one more that I liked from the Galaxy pack. It's the Dreaming 2 top. So then we can hear all in context one by one. Here's the Galaxy loop. Also to note, if you open Loop Cloud in Ableton, then you can preview the loops and have it play in sync to your beat. So that's a nice feature to help you find samples that would work with your composition. Now that's playing all together. You may not want it to play all together at the same time, but you can adjust the mix of each loop as well and that might make it sit better. But having more loops just gives you more options when you arrange the track. Now I usually work in session view, but since we're gonna be playing with samples and I may be cutting and chopping samples up, I've pulled the drum loop into the arrangement view and we're gonna be pulling some musical samples over this loop to build an intro. Now, just one thing about these percussive loops, you don't have to use it as is. You can cut it up and rearrange it to your own drum pattern. And sometimes this is useful because you may want to reposition the shuffles so it happens between the kick and snares. I'm gonna zoom in on a one bar section here and it's this one I wanna work on here. And I want to create a shuffle in this area here in blue. So we're going to use these little click sounds to create a shuffle. 
So this guy is a shuffle, so I'll move this here, and then I'll duplicate it. And then we can zoom in and fix the transients. Notice that the notes don't start right on the grid, and that's how these top loops are nice because it has some really nice grooves in it. So we can fix the transient. Now if you click on it and then drag, it's gonna snap on. So if you hold Alt while you drag, then it turns the snap off temporarily so you can fix that transient. We can fix this one here as well. Now you had to drag first and then hold Alt. And there's this bit we don't need here. We can add a shaker there so we can copy the shaker and move it here. Drag and then hold Alt. Now you may want to blend the end and start point of the slice so you can cross fade these things. If you click on this fade point and drag it over, it creates a cross fade. We can do that here as well. Create a little crossfade. One more here. And then you can consolidate that into a new loop. You can color that. So this was the loop before. Here's the new loop. A little more funky. So there's some really great musical loops that we can use to build an intro from the document one pack. So there's this piano contemporary sample. And this road sample might work as well. We just got to auto sync the key since it's playing a G minor and the piano is playing F minor. I also have some really nice brass samples. <laughs> These are actually really great sounds. If you watch my ambient jungle video and you're after trumpet stabs, this is a great place to find them. Notice how everything sounds so nice when it's synced together in terms of the key. Now they also have some really great live double bass samples. It has that Ronnie size kind of vibe. If you remember that Represent album. So let's pull this all into Ableton. Now let's clean up the Rhodes loop. There's just these chords here that doesn't work with the piano and we'll just duplicate and play the same keys. <laughs> Okay, so that's a nice little intro piece before we move into the main drop of the track. So let's build the drop. So I found some really cool bass loops in the document one pack. Now as good as that sounds, I prefer to use this and make my own bass line. So I'm gonna take out the resting keep only the first note here. Let's use a bandpass filter, add some multi-band distortion courtesy of thermal, and then let's go into the waveform and do some pitch modulation. And we're gonna move it just one semitone down. Let's add another bass into it. So there's this FM rolled bass from the document one pack. All right, so here's the rolled off bass, and we're gonna play it as a response to that first bass hit. Now we could clean this up a bit so there's no overlapping bass, so let's cut this out over here. 
and then you can zoom in and just add a bit of fade to clean the starts of the sample. So remember that double bass we found? And all I want from the sample is this piece here. And we're gonna use this at the end of the four bar phrase. Now I'm using thermal to really boost this bass, make it sound really live. So since this bass is playing here, let's make some room for it over here. Perhaps at the end, we'll leave this Reesey part playing so we'll take out that acoustic bass. Let's extend this into a 16 bar loop and then we'll add a change up at the end of the 16. So here's just a nasty sounding bass from the document one pack. So what we'll do is we can take this last section here and move it to the end. We'll get rid of this cut out this piece here. So we have a nice 16 bar phrase. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, there's a bunch of MIDI loops as well, which you can use. So in the Galaxy pack, there's some really nice ones for bass. Now I've imported them into Ableton using a Serum patch that I designed. So we can go through a couple of these patterns. <laughs> So this is a great starting point to help you write bass lines if you're running out of ideas or you don't have that musical background to write melodies, then you can use this to play around and find your own melodies. So I imported it into the arrangement view. <laughs> Now there's a lot of different bass sounds overlapping so we're gonna have to manipulate this loop a little. So first I'm gonna remove some of the overlapping notes. So for example this one here we can move here. <laughs> We can mute these guys here. And then we can play around with the notes, interchange different sounds with these notes. So for example, I could mute this note here and we're gonna play this with another sound. So I'll copy this pattern up here. Bring this note back, mute this guy, like that, okay, so now we have this. Now let's give the Galaxy Pack a little more love. I found this Wubla bass loop, which sounds pretty gnarly. Now I pulled it into Ableton here. We're gonna do some advanced sample manipulation here. Now I want the sample to start earlier. Now I gotta add some filtering. And then we're gonna add some saturation and some distortion. I also have a layer of noise playing with it here with a Ableton instrument rack using Serum. So layered with the Galaxy bass and some saturation. We have that. Add some more saturation. Add some thermal. 
So now we have this little bass stab here to fill in the gap. <laughs> All right, so we have two bass sections that can play off each other. So let's hear how the intro transitions into the drop. So that was the track and let me know what you think. I have two bass sections here. I'm not sure if I should keep them both and have them playing off each other or if I should just keep one bass section and use that as the main drop. So let me know which bass section did you like more, the first or the second one. And as you can see, using samples, you can creatively use these loops, chopping it up and rearranging it to create your own pattern. And this is a fun and quick way to start creating, especially if you're new, it gives you a hands-on experience to quickly put down beats, learning how to put bass sounds together with other sounds, as well as layering musical loops on top. It's all about having a good ear to find pieces that would work well together. So I encourage you guys to play with this pack, take different sounds and loops and create your own compositions with them. All right, so that was my demo of the new sample packs out on Loop Cloud, courtesy of Shogun Audio's EST Studios. There's some really awesome sounds and tools in there which can help you develop your own music. So all these sounds are accessible through Loop Cloud, and if you're interested in joining Loop Cloud, you can check it out in the link below. And hey, remember to check out new music from me as well as Tier Kahoot, all down in the link below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. And if you did, it'd be awesome if you can hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. I'll see you at the next video.